All right, guys, I'm back. I just uh, finished that other video. I'm gonna do two videos tonight, and I'll upload one tonight and one tomorrow morning. But uh, this will be the second video that I upload. I did leave a car out on that last one. This video is gonna have, uh, I think, better, a little bit better stuff. Uh, there is a mainline Lotus Esprit in yellow. It's a recolor. I have the red and the white. Uh, I just, I, the, the rear detail looks kind of janky on it, but it's there. And this is just a cool little car. It's kind of one of those classic little European sports cars. So there's that one. And then I'm going to crack open the trucks, five pack. Um, I don't really care for any of these except for the 49 Ford and the 83 Silverado. So we'll give we'll give them all a look, but uh, they're gonna it's gonna be a quick look. So uh, starting out here with the 2010 Toyota Tundra. Cool thing is you have the brake light tampo, but it's only on the side. So there's that. This is a really light casting. There's a lot of plastic in that casting. Um, so that's here. This one's my least favorite. This Nissan Titan. Eh. Doesn't do it for me. Green window. Everybody knows you buy this five pack for one truck. This one's not terrible, but I like the other casting better. The shorter one. And enough with these chrome interiors, Hot Wheel. Come on. Chrome interiors all the time. Now this one is sick. It's not why I bought the 5-pack. But I can see this being the, the truck for a lot of people. Right? Most people it's going to be the 83 Silverado. But I can see this being the truck for a lot of people. And I can see why. That is a very nice little casting. And then, of course, I've seen a lot of people with pain issues on this truck. Well, it looks like mine is clean. I know this camera and this light, um, you know, it's a cell phone. I know it's not going to pick that up. That is a really nice color of blue. And my tampos on both sides are good. So that is a score. I am not going to drill this. I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, it's just going to go into the collection as it is. So, cool. Uh, this one is probably a waste of time. I was hoping they would come out with an Ecto <clears throat> again. This is the second year they skipped. Might be the third. So hopefully next year. This is the only one of the Halloween cars that I saw worth getting. I think it's pretty sharp looking little bone shaker. I do like the bone shaker with the roof the most. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that one. Let's get to some better stuff. Although I don't know if I would say this is better. It is, if you can see the hologram, it is officially licensed by Dom Daimler Chrysler. I don't buy a lot of the fresh metal. They are super cheap. But I do like the uh, the All-Stars and the design, which I do have some to open here. This is just the fresh metal. Real basic, real cheap. Uh, it's a Mercedes S-Class. And... It's not terrible. It's not a terrible casting, but it's not a great casting. But you don't, wow, that base feels kind of wonky. It might have been spun a little bit offset because the, the glass doesn't look like it's in right. I don't know if you can pick that up. But it's a Mercedes, and there don't seem to be a lot of Mercedes in the 64 scale. It's the only fresh metal casting that I've purchased. 
All right. Uh, let's get on to some better stuff. Got an old police cruiser. Now, to me, this is 1995. <clears throat> um, come on now. It's it's called the police cruiser. It looks to me like a Caprice, Chevy Caprice. Um, really cool car. I'd like to find a casting of the 96 Impala. I wonder if Johnny Lightning did that, that one. That 96 Impala came out for one year. Those things are pricey too. They really have held their value. But uh, that that's a cool little cop car, I think, from Hot Wheels. I like it. Pretty cool. That'll go into the collection. Uh, all right, so let's crack some of the new Matchbox. Found the uh, Mudstang. <clears throat> yeah, and I've been I've been waiting for these. I've been seeing people finding these, and I've had zero luck no luck at all that thing is sweet i would never do that i would buy an old bronco if i had a mustang i would sell it buy myself a half of a challenger or i don't know roadrunner or something anyways this thing is sick too i, I hope I don't know if they will. Um, I would really like to see Matchbox bring this out with just just as a a regular car. Um, there's a light bar on the top, but it's molded into the plastic. So to convert this to a regular car wouldn't be hard at all. I wish that there was back end detail, but. Um, the design of this car is phenomenal. This is the nicest Corvette to come out in a long time, I think. Just the, the body style. It looks very European. <clears throat> and really, the biggest change they made is back here in the back window from the old model. It just, the way they did that gives it a very European look. And the wheels, Matchbox smashes Hot Wheels with the wheels on the mainline stuff. And that that's a killer piece. Having it out of the package, um, that's a killer piece. Uh, that's awesome. Really glad I found that. Uh, all right. So this is a recolor for the Matchbox, the Alfa Romeo 4C. I have it in red. And I have it in that gunmetal gray, and here it is in white, and I think I like the white the most. Either the white or the gunmetal, but uh, again with the wheels, really nice mainline wheels, really nice front end detail with the headlight tampos and the Alfa Romeo grille, and then really nice back end detail. So for mainline cars, I do prefer Matchbox because they're more consistent with the details. Uh, their selection is not as good as Hot Wheels, but um, the consistency of the detail, I think, is a lot better. Uh, here we have the Miata. And I picked up the Hot Wheels Miata, which I thought they did a really nice job on. It's more of a racing Miata than this one. But uh, I, I don't I like both of them the same. They're just different. But this is an awesome car. Again, really nice front and rear detail. Nice job by Matchbox. This is scale this scale too big to be 64. Sometimes Matchbox will say on the base. This particular model doesn't. But it's that's too big. To be 64 probably a 55 or something and then the last matchbox car is the 
all the buzz, or was all the buzz until the uh, Volkswagen truck came out. That Skyline that's coming out is going to really kill it. That Skyline, that Matchbox Skyline, man, definitely going to have to pick that one up. Anyways, this is the Range Rover Evoque. And there's a lot of plastic in it. That whole top is plastic, which sucks. But they did a very nice job on the detail. I'll take that plastic top in exchange for all this detail any day of the week. Any day of the week. That is nice seen a few of these out on the road the orange and black uh i don't know i kind of like it well done all right so i found some today i showed you'll see you, if you watched the last video you saw them at the end the uh maestro design this is the 71 camaro police car vic i'm gonna send this off to you i don't know when um, I don't have anything to send with it because everything is packed, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm just going to send it out as it is or if I'm going to hold off and maybe see if I can find a couple other pieces to throw in there. But that is your car, buddy. It's not going to anybody but you. So I did find a couple of others. So the, uh, the Camaro is the Authority lineup, and then this is the Aventador in the exotics lineup. These cars claim to be 164. It says 164 right there on the package. This is the Aventador 50th anniversary. I have to tell you though, I think these are a little bigger than one to 64 scale, but uh, they're they're nice. I have to say the, uh, the Maestos when you get into the the uh, all stars and the design lineup, when when you get above the fresh metal, they're nice. They have rubber tires, uh, a lot more detail. So that's the Aventador. I have the Enzo Ferrari too, which I cracked in a pre uh, an earlier video. It's packed up right now. Um, and then this one. 2008 Porsche 911 GT2. So let's take a look here. The uh, the Hot Wheels 911 GT2 doesn't tell you, doesn't say what year it is, but we can compare the two. Because the Maestro, just like the Lamborghini, says that the Porsche is a 164. I can tell you right off the bat that that is not the case. Porsche 911 GT2. It's sick though. This thing is nuts. Highway Patrol is in reverse on the windshield. So when you're looking in your rear view mirror, you are going to read that. The headlights on this are Tampos, unlike the, uh, unlike the Hot Wheels where it's the insert from the windshield. These are Tampos. Uh, really sharp looking wheels on this car with the side view mirrors, Unit 10, Highway Patrol, Serve and Protect on the rear quarter panel, um, Dial 911, uh, GT2. You got your exhaust pipes there, your brake lights, highway patrol on the spoiler, clear light bar. Uh, it's sick, but I don't know if we can see this. Uh, it doesn't look as bad on camera. It's quite a bit bigger than the Hot Wheels, quite a bit, but it's sick nonetheless. It's a welcome addition to my collection, I know that. That thing is bad. 
All right. Then the last one we have is also in the exotics. This is the Ferrari 599 GTO. Really hard to see in the packaging because of the color. Satin black. The Enzo that I got is red. So this is going to go perfectly with the Enzo. Man, oh, this is so nice. I love it. I just hope that those mirrors, the side view mirrors on these are really big. Hopefully they don't break. Look at that satin black. Murdered out. The red rim, red and black. Uh, killer body lines on this car. I wish it was the 599XX, but um, still very well done. Exotics, you got the Ferrari logo with the brake lights, dual exhaust. Ferrari crest on the quarter panel. Uh, let's see what we got with the headlights here. Headlight tampos with the turn signals and rubber tires with tread and not a very detailed base um i personally don't i couldn't care less about the base i wouldn't care if it was flat i would give me the detail up here i don't care what that looks like i want all the detail up here some people like the detailed base i do not care if it was a an 18 scale or 24 scale, something like that, I might care. But with 1 to 64, just give me a detailed car up top. That is sweet. So, <clears throat> got our little European exotics here from Maisto. Wow, phone's getting warm. This is a, a shorter video, still too long, but let's turn it this way and see. So we got the 599 GTO Ferrari. We got the Porsche 911 GT2 Police. Oh, there goes my tripod. I'm trying to see if I can get some better light. And then last, we have the uh, Lamborghini Aventador. So three pretty awesome cars, as well as the awesome Matchbox cars, as well as the Hot Wheels from the last video, and my refreshing ice-cold Pepsi. The house with uh, a lot more detail than, well, I guess I showed this a couple videos ago, but... Uh, I don't think there's much more to do to the house other than a foundation and a driveway, which I'm not going to do till after the move. But uh, it feels really good. It's been at least a week and a half since I've cracked cars. So if the, if the quality of these two videos is poor, I apologize. Thank you for bearing with me. I have to tell you. It feels great to open cars so I'll get these uploaded I'll check them out on the TV and if they look relatively decent then I'll pull out some big boy cars <clears throat> and uh, we'll crack some some nice stuff here in the next few days uh, we don't close on the sale of our home until the 12th it was supposed to be last Tuesday on the 30th and it got bumped to the 12th so I can't go two more weeks. I couldn't go two more weeks without doing this. So, but my camera's packed and it's like buried. I have no idea where. So I am forced to use my wife's phone because my phone is an eight gig hard drive, doesn't have the space. So that is the situation. But once I get moved, I'll get the camera out. Everything will be good again. And, uh, We'll get back to cracking cars. So 
Thanks again for checking it out. Thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave comments. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And I will holler at the next video. Thank you.